Hello. And now, I've showered. Yeah, man. A work outfit. <laughs> It's just something our generation is used to In neighborhoods where you never see a news crew Unless they're gentrifying white people don't even cruise through Am I so <laughs> Make all my white fans uncomfortable But you don't even have a fucking song for radio While you out here talking race trying to save the fucking globe Don't get involved with the That used to be Key Club where I played every week Thanks to my buddy Ryan Inviting us out Pretty sad, no? It's uh, just another dance club. Just as fast as you're in the thick of Hollywood, West Hollywood, you're in Beverly Hills, which is very small. A lot smaller than people think. So is Hollywood. All these little neighborhoods are, are tiny. Anybody from home watching, I would say Auburn is the size of maybe three, possibly four of these places uh, maybe maybe two or three I don't I don't really I don't know three at the most something they'll tell you on the tours here I guess is they'll point out how Beverly Hills fire hydrants are silver that's right they wanted their own little color they thought the yellow or the red was just too something but there there's one of them right there A silver fire hydrant Beverly Hills I don't want to be <laughs> Speaking of those stupid tour uh, buses There's one right there Try to zoom in for you Boom Starline And obviously I should have been recording my video like this I'm gonna take a right here on Santa Monica Boulevard, which uh, I usually take. Santa Monica Boulevard, this one runs from, well, runs a lot of places, but in my life, it runs from my my uh, little neck in Hollywood through West Hollywood, where all the West Hollywood clubs are, and then through Beverly Hills here. Rodeo Drive here, right here. Trying to give you a little key. The shops and stuff down there. When I moved here, uh, it was my third day here. And I said, I'm not going to do pizzas because when I was in New York, I did pizzas for seven years at a place called Angelo's. And third day in, I just, I, I walked by, I don't know how many different pizza shops, and I was like, okay, whatever. And I just walked in, got hired the next day. So it was the third day here. Second day here I walked in, third day here I got hired. And uh, since then, that was right in Hollywood, which was my favorite spot. It was 1.3 mile, miles from my apartment, so I would walk to work and then run home every night. And uh, the night crew there, I never worked it, but it's just like Angelo's was back home. It's the only place open. Happens to be right next to a club that closes at two, just like in New York. Angelo's was the only place open until 3 a.m. Everybody would go there after they would go out. Uh, and then he opened up one in Sherman Oaks, which is where my friend Derek lives. My friend Ryan lives there. So I worked that one. And then two months later, we opened this one in Century City, and I came over to this one. This is the one I run. Looks a lot cooler at night driving up like to it. This part looks really cool all lit up at night. So I pull around back here right behind the pizza shop. Pull downstairs.
My man Gio, he's a pizza man here at Joe's. How long you been working here? Um, one year. What's your like favorite part of, of working here? Uh, special with the ladies. The ladies? Yeah, the ladies. So why I'm liking them more for the ladies only. My boss Ryan's, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's nice, guys. That's Jeremy. What the fuck do you guys do? Second in command when I'm not around. Eric, what's your favorite part about the job? Uh, you know, favorite part about the job, uh, I'd say is the ladies, you know? The ladies are really nice. It's been a quite the learning experience, you know? Gained a lot of responsibility. Uh, a lot of fun. Good co-workers. Except for that guy, Ryan, you know? He's kind of a prick. He thinks about way too much. He's kind of sensitive at times, you know? It's sad. It's sad. I've only been in LA for that long and he knows all that already. And I'm his boss. It's fucked. So on a day like today, I do, uh, I order Restaurant Depot, is what we call it. And it's like our fresh produce and all that. So I gotta come in the cooler, check out, see what we have, what we have to do, and uh, make a list. First thing I do on Mondays when I get here. Tristan, how long have you been working here at Joe's? Uh, I think I've been working here since I was, um, like, maybe like eight months. Probably about nine. <clears throat> Sorry, probably about nine. What's your favorite part about the job? Talking to beautiful women. Yeah, Say yeah. hello, David. Hey, hi, man. How are you? David, how long you been working here at Joe's Pizza? Oh, uh, just one year and three months or four. And what, what's your favorite part about the job? Oh, oh. Clean you fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rigoberto, prep guy, counter guy, delivery guy, pizza man. Just like me, he can do everything. Now, Rigo, how long have you been working here? Right now, like one year. One year? I never somebody. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> this is what I meant. And I said, cooler at night. Crazy cool. I got a making up. Just getting home at 9.54. This is what I do after work. I drop off the money. I come to the gym. Switched to the treadmill from the elliptical recently. Finally can talk while I'm running. See you later.